been like, pause, super slutty mistresses. Okay, so, <clears throat> once a cheater, always a cheater. <clears throat> I fucking hate that phrase. Now, I'm sure you've probably heard it before, or have said it to people, or whatever. It's like a well-known phrase, and it's a stupid, stupid phrase. Why? Because think of it this way, like, let's say, like I used to be a vegetarian, and now I eat meat, okay? So what are you gonna be like? Once a vegetarian, always a vegetarian? No, no, it just doesn't, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Because guess what, life is ever changing, okay? So once a cheater, always a cheater doesn't really apply except for that specific moment in your life. And that specific act, break that in there. Okay, my problem here is this. I used to be a serial cheater, and if you haven't gotten that far in my book or don't know me at all, go to wedgeaholics.com and see for yourself. I think I've been cheating since I could touch people, so like 13. Um, and to be honest, I've been asked why I've cheated. This is from like outside people, forget being in a relationship. So like, I've been asked why, why would I cheat? Well, it's kind of like this. It's like, you have like this hot fudge sundae, and then over here, it's like, but there's this really nice piece of cake, right? Like, you can't have your cake and eat your ice cream, too. That's just, like, a problem. And I'm just like, I don't understand. Like, uh, all these hoes got my plates full. Like, what do I do? And I cheat, and I cheat, and I cheat, and I cheat. Not because, like, I'm being malicious. It's just, like, things happen to present themselves. And let me just say, like, when you're young, so if I count, like, I, you can't even count this. When you count, like, 13 to, like, 18, like, I don't even count those. And so, like, you know, all in there, you know, you gotta, like, date a bunch of people. I just so happen to specifically date one person whilst dating other people. Then after that, you're in college, and, like, who the fuck doesn't do things in college. Don't even lie. You totally experimented a little bit. At least emotionally. You know you like watched that guy down the hall in his towel and you were like, mm. then you gotta go call Bay up and be like, I miss you even though you're seven hours away. Or like maybe you had a girl crush and you were like, mm, who's that over there? And it's probably me. So, um, you know, it's college is college and that shit happens. You should not be in a serious relationship in college. Or maybe it's just me. I don't really know. All I know is I saw way too much shit in college to even take monogamy seriously. This coming from monogamous people, observing them, that is to say. Um, I mean, some of them went on to go enjoy the whole marriage boat and stay together and nothing that happened in that mess affected them and that's cool and awesome sauce. But if your significant other was a fly in your dorm room, I highly doubt that they'd be pleased, we'll say. Okay, now you get to be an adult, we'll call it uh, after college. So I just kind of carried over that like bad behavior and it was basically because, well, I caught feelings for someone else by accident. I didn't mean to. And I literally, it's so pathetic, but I couldn't, could not resist. I cannot resist the mistress. <laughs> I couldn't resist. And um, I cheated and I hurt the person I was with and what was worse overall is that I hurt myself, which is pretty fucking selfish. See, I was selfish for cheating because I wanted that instant gratification, okay? Then I, I was selfish because through all the pain and through all the heartbreak, I hurt somebody, like completely broke somebody's like view of life and love completely. So that wasn't too awesome. I wasn't a big fan. And it was that relationship, post-college, where I'd like to say being an adult, if you will, is what changed my view that I will never cheat again. And I have not cheated at all since. Um, and that was like 2009 is when that exploded and burst my life into many, many pieces. But since then, I haven't cheated. So when people say, once a cheater, always a cheater, I'm like, I mean, yeah, but no, because like, I don't cheat. And there is nothing that could possibly make me cheat again on anyone. Because before my face touches somebody else's face, I don't care if I have to FaceTime a breakup. I will break up with you before I touch another person. Plain and simple. But my whole point is like, once a cheater, always a cheater does not technically apply to everybody. I actually don't think it applies. I don't, Ed. I don't think it applies to everybody all the time. Um, and it has like, it, it, you kind of get torn up about whether you want to be straight up honest with people because like, sometimes people won't even look at you if you say that you've cheated before. And it's like, okay, well maybe I'll just like keep that in the DL until like, 
later on. I mean, it's not like I'm whipping out a dick at all, so it's not gonna be one of those surprises. So, I mean, it, it, it's just, I just think the phrase overall is misguided. And for like a generation of people who are so open-minded and like liberal when it comes to relationships and, and people like, to sit back and be like, once a cheater, always a cheater, like I'd never date you or I'd never even look your way. It's kind of fucked up because like, what if I don't ever want to look your way because one time you did anal and I don't really approve of that. Just not true, but I'm just saying like, it's totally cool. But like, if I judged you based on something that happened in your past, what does that make me? Like, it's, it's, it's not fair. So you're gonna judge me based on my past. Well, then maybe we're not right for each other. I don't really know. I just think it's not fair that you could sit back and judge me for this, for this, this like love crime that had nothing to do with, you know, you and I, or like a relationship, a potential relationship we could have. Do you know what I mean? I guess. I don't really know if this makes sense. I really don't. But for those people who judge cheaters like that or reform cheaters, like stop it. Just, just stop it, we are people too. And guess what, I guarantee you, the percentage of cheaters in the world is a lot more than the percentage of not cheaters. And I'm just assuming that because a lot of people I've hooked up with were in fact cheating on somebody else. That's a bad statistic. I know that my decision to stop cheating was because of a selfish reason. Um, the repercussions of me cheating were just astronomically f fucked that I was like, I did this to myself. I got myself kicked out of my own apartment here. Like I <sighs> had to move back at home with my father. Like I had to switch jobs. Like I fucked myself because I fucked around with somebody else. So my decision to stop cheating should have been because I completely dismantled somebody else, but it wasn't. Unfortunately, it wasn't. And I learned from that situation and I mean that's what got that's what I got out of it if you're judging a cheater out there stop it if they say they change trust them trust everybody until they give you a reason not to because you're gonna miss out on some great people if you don't and that's all I gotta say we're done